All right, let's continue this. We got a couple of clues on where Sean is. Uh, we did first trial, second trial, so there's a third one. And we have a few suspects of who the origami killer is based on the stat. Oh, nothing. Based on the FBI agent and the private eye detective, uh, whatever his name is. Shelby? Shelby. So every time when we perform these trials, and if we pass, we get clues of where Sean is being held. Little bits of pieces of the address. The pain's coming back. Drugs are beginning to wear off. Porcelain lizards? They look new. Out of place with the rest of this old beat-up stuff. Oh man, that was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that whole nickname only works for, I guess, on your side, on your screen. For everyone else, we still see Alcaron. I don't get this. Okay. Dude, I want to move to the right, to the left. In the apartment complex? Oh yeah. There's been a fire in here. Everything is all burned up. Wait, there's one. Twenty-five degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Hey, Bowmaster, what's up? Uh, I gotta break all this. Oh wait, the green one. Maybe it's the green one. Hold on. Yep. Oh, that's normal for me over here. 75 degrees. <laughs> 7580. That's pretty much all around the whole year. There's a key hidden in the lizard. Let's see what we got here. Got a knife. 
put off. Nope. That is true. All right, let's just sit down. Hey, Drac. Yeah, Sean is shit. Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? You have five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers oh, in front fuck. of the camera. If you succeed, you will get your reward. Five minutes. Jesus Christ, um... Is that a scissor? Do I want a scissor? Okay, looks like a bottle of something. Let's disinfect our stuff, I guess. Oh, okay, okay, hold on. Hey, Rising, what's up? How's everyone doing? We're about to cut my finger off. I guess let's scatter all the tools. No, no, no. Uh, you didn't miss anything. I'm just going to pick up some tools and cut off my finger. I'll let you guys decide on how I should cut my finger. Let me see if we can gather more tools around here. ready. Let's first um, disinfect my finger. You have I didn't see any glass. Let's get up to make sure if I'm missing anything then. Just a couch. No. What? No, I don't have time for this. Wait, no, nah, maybe I have time. Let's see. Holy shit.
Alright guys, how should I do this? I got a saw blade, a cleaver, cleaver scissor, a bar wire, and a wind stick. Bite it off, I wish. Okay, Drax's knife. Rising says rod. You have two minutes and thirty seconds. One stick. Left. I feel like I feel like the rod would be more painful though. Stick? That's two on stick. Oh, Jesus. Oh, psh, that's what it's for, okay. So, just a rod, scissor, Cleaver and saw. You have two minutes left. Okay, fine. Cleaver it is. Let's do it. Steady. 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 One, two, three! Well, he censored it. I gotta cut his finger. I had to. Oh man. He'll be fine. He doesn't need a pinky, anyways. <laughs> Just punch the floor. The kid. Oh, 
And then we get saved by Madison again for a third time. No, nah, I can't be that simple, Drac. Yeah. Should have done that, should just kept his finger. Gold finger. That's affirmative, Lieutenant. We're in position. Perfect. Nobody moves until I give this signal. Is that clear? Oh, look. Blake Nail again. As soon as he sets foot outside. Right, Lieutenant. Lucky that patrol spotted his car. What's he doing in there? Beats me. You're the profiler, right? I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't match the killer's psychological profile. I know what the jury's gonna choose between your theories and concrete proof. No, Bone. Please, continue. What the fuck is that girl doing there? If Marsh comes out now, she's gonna be in trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? Wanna get her out? No, stand down. The police. They staked out the building where Ethan is. Wait, why am I here? And how do you know that we're here? She's going inside. She lives there. Well, it's just as well. We don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. Ethan, what happened? The police, they're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. We've got to find another way out. Shit. What's he up to in there? Come on. Wait for a go on my word. No point in trying to get upstairs. Dead end on the roof. We'd be trapped. Is it raining there or something? There we go. I go. Stay here, Jaden. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Two men at the door hold your positions. It's a go. Oh shit. Come on, we gotta go. We gotta go.
Man, what's your average temperature like over there? Yep, we're done. Hey, you don't move. Shoot I'll shoot me. Come on, quick. I can't. Hands in the air. Shit. Lieutenant. Ha, <laughs> what a coward. There's a man and a woman exiting the alley. A woman? Shit. It's that girl who went in. Everybody downstairs. They're in the alley. Follow them. The subway. Come on. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my god, I messed up. Don't move. Fuck. <laughs> Dude, that was like an invisible wall. What the hell? Hey, Rosie. What's up? That wasn't fair, okay? I didn't see the invisible wall. I did excellent, alright? I think, in the end, Ethan was gonna get caught. I'm doing well, Rosie. Thanks for asking. Are you ready for your interview tomorrow? I'm not here to judge you, Ethan. I'm trying to save the life of your son. We still have time, but it's running out. <laughs> hey, C, what's Help up? Me, I normally stream around this Tell time. Me what you know. 12 Central, midnight. Ethan, I'm trying to help you. I just want to understand what happened. But you have to trust me. Look at these, Ethan. Look at these. Eight just for you, Drac. Eight just for lives you. Taken. Drowned in the goddamn rain. Recognize this one, huh? That's your son, Ethan. That's Sean. He is still alive. Talk to me, Ethan. Say something! Uh, convince anger. Yeah, Drac, only when you are going to bed. Just stay up. God damn it, Ethan! Where is Sean? I kidnapped my son. But I can't remember what happened. I don't know where he is. But the only way to find him is to let me out of here. I'm the only person who can save him. Aggression. Let's do aggression. It just doesn't add up, Ethan. Stop with this pathetic nonsense and tell me the fucking truth! I love my son. I love my son. If you keep me here, Sean is going to die.
Uh-oh. Time's running out, Ethan. And frankly, I don't care why you did it. The only thing I want to know is where you've hidden Sean. I don't know. I would already have saved him if I knew where he was. Okay. This is your last chance, Ethan. And this time, I suggest you think carefully before you answer. Where is Sean? I told you, I don't know. Ah! Wrong answer. Uh, answer the question. Blake, what are you doing? This guy's a killer. He's got no fucking rights. He's going to tell me everything. What's the matter, huh? Let's, let's Carter, threaten him. Stop. I'm gonna report you for this. Go ahead. Get the hell out of here. I couldn't stand you from the very beginning, Norman. Now get the fuck out. You fuck. Now you're gonna tell me what I want to know, or I'm gonna fucking cripple you. Even if he is a killer, that doesn't give. Oh, I could have punched him. him. Whose side are you on, Norman? Are you defending this piece of shit? I'm defending the law, and the law says he is innocent until proven guilty. This guy's got no rights. Do you hear me? No rights at all. No, come back. Fuck. That bastard is gonna beat a confession out of Morris. He just wants a culprit, even if it's the wrong guy. Let's turn it back on. That is not the way it's gonna go. I'm gonna tell the whole story to Captain Perry. I was gone too far this time. Where is that captain? Trying to beat a confession out of Ethan Mars, you've got to do something! Which is more important, Norman? Finding little Sean Mars or sparing that lowlife a few bruises. You can't make omelets without breaking a few. Wow. God damn! Ethan Mars is innocent! You've got to get back to looking for Sean if we're to have any chance of finding him alive! This case has worn you out, Norman. You need some time off to think it through. You are worn out. The drugs. Uh. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I should have done that rising. I should have.
Your vodka, sir. Yeah. Thanks. You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Blake is convinced. Uh, we can rock band if someone pay for sale. Not you. What? Two hundred fifty dollars. I think it's the price for rock band for. That That's true. Two fifty or two ninety nine. It just doesn't make it's sense. one. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Mars is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Then who is? I haven't the faintest fucking idea. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. Is this my subconscious? Very dangerous. Or am I actually in a bar? I'm to keep a handle on it, but that's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. Dude, I'll just get the. Most unfortunate, sir. I'll just use my Blue Yeti mic as a microphone and be done with it. And then we'll have your voice changer program and use that for Rock Band. All right, let's go back and look at our clues. Well, well, looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park, when in the opposite direction at 1637. That could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? Okay. Swords are dropped down from heaven. Ah, uh, pity we can't see the driver's face. Still gonna analyze it anyways. The car was stolen. Let's see, a certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it. But the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. Wasn't really thrusting, Bomasher. Okay, done with clues. What's next? Files. There's always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. In the fall, 
railroad tracks. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. Hi, Lilac. He's intelligent, I thought you're sleeping. calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. House falls shelter. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. That your place got raided? Alright, I already looked up all the clues and what else am I missing? Clues, files, I already looked up. Is there something else I'm missing here? Let's see if we can get out of here. I can't get out. If I can't get out, that means I'm missing something. Gotta be the clues then. I don't know, I guess I'm trying to find out who, like, any clues that says uh, Ethan is innocent. Has to be this one. I just want to get out of here. Oh, jeez. Jackson Neville, aka Wait a minute, I didn't see Mad this. Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. That's crazy, you need a stutter, right? What? Where, where was this? Was it, Were you in a room or something? Confess. No, not yet. He lost consciousness. We'll give him a break and I then we'll get back to him. Mars is innocent Let's and I gotta get him out of here. Let's go break Ethan out. Tough or not, he'll crack. They all do. In any case, congratulations, Lieutenant. You've done a fine job. I've called a press conference. Gonna kick off in one hour. I expect it'll be quite an event. Don't you want to wait till we actually <laughs> got his confession? No point. Oh, we wait, he's not here. To That's all the press wants to know. Leave us alone. I... Uh, 
Lieutenant Blake said to... Please, leave us alone. Right, uh, I'll be at the door if you need anything. Christ! Are you all right, Ethan? Wow. Okay, honey, you gotta give a backstory. You can't just say that. Okay, now I need to pause and tell you the story because what I like here is not giving out the full context. So what happened is I was working at a factory and I had the midnight shift. And I'm in the office and I keep hearing this critter just running around up between my office and the next door office and the kitchen. And one night, like, I literally saw the mouse probably a couple feet in front of me. So what happened next was um, the next day I told them about it and they brought uh, mouse traps, just not the one that snaps, the one just, you know, mouse would lay on top of it and get stick by the adhesive. So, so we placed that all over the office and one night the mouse laid on top of it. I'm like, okay, perfect. But the sad thing was it kept making this squeaking noises like, oh my God, help me get, get me out of here. And I didn't know what to do about it. So I, I first got a to-go box put that mouse trap with that mouse in a to-go box, covered it up, and then I was like, look, I'm sorry. I got a sledgehammer. I didn't hit it. I didn't swing it. I just held it face down and just dropped it. And before I dropped it, I said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I released it. And it splattered inside the go box. And I threw it out in the trash can. But yeah. Huh. It had diseases. Look, I'm not proud of it, alright? We live... Because the thing was, um, the factory was located like behind a huge forest area, and so occasionally we'll have either rats or huge ass spiders or raccoons, and rats and raccoons would eat the what is it the the, the stuff around the ceiling. <coughs> Try not to think about it to this day. It's been years since that happened. I gotta get out of here. I've gotta save my son. Yeah, feed his kids Let's and can do give me diseases. No thank you. Shit, what am I doing? Helping a suspect to escape? That'll cost me my badge and earn me a ten years. I'm gonna find a way to get you out of here, Ethan. Stay put. I'll be back. Wait, what am I doing? Let's go back inside. I'm not going to take the chances, Drag. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Should be able to get him out of here without being noticed. What should I do? What should I do? Okay, now let's go back inside.
Do I punch the cop or something? Whoa. Okay, maybe just to go back over here. Let's see if there's anything else I'm missing here. Um, Gary, you can take a break. I'll keep an eye on him. You sure? Actually, I was busted oh my God. like this. If you need to adjust his handcuffs, the keys are on my desk. Ethan, put this on. You might be able to get by them without being noticed. Oh shit, the handcuffs. I forgot about that. Okay, hold tight. First, get rid of the cuffs. Okay, uh, what were the cuffs? Keys? Does anyone know where the keys are? I didn't pay attention to the cop. On his desk, his office desk. Well, let's go back here and see if the keys are here. Wouldn't make sense, but like, I don't know where his office desk is located at. Alright, let's go. Uh, the weather's fine over here. It's not raining or anything. Okay. I don't know if you would want to know the total amount of your wish list rising. That's it. You're free. Here, put this on. They're having a break. If you're quick, you'll be able to slip out without being noticed. Head straight to the exit. Don't stop, don't talk, don't even think. Just walk. I don't know what to say. I... Just say you're gonna save your son. I hope I won't regret that. It's just that easy, yeah. I believe Ethan. I believe he is not the killer. Nice, you got a haircut today. But what if he isn't? Look, I played Phoenix Wright before. I think I know who the killer is and who isn't. 
And look, I got the trophy wise guy. An hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be. Well, if you remember Lilac, no spoilers. I brought some food. I didn't know what you like, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. I'm a bad parent, yep. Terrible with kids. You followed me. I wanted to know. You're all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? Do it. I... I sometimes have these blackouts. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm someone completely. I know, different. I forgot about this game too. The only thing I remember afterwards. Drank, don't give me one of your nephews. It's the bodies. The bodies in the water. Why are you Onigami killer? Why were you in that apartment? That's the right way to say it. That's the right way to say it. I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I love him enough to save him. Or a gammy. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? <laughs> and tell Rosie had no proof. He just blacks out. That's all. Victims and has kidnapped his own son. They never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. Brad Pitt was real. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice. Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to square uh he's a college leave. professor one of my friends who is a uh, professor right. of video game development i think he's been doing it for five years i think or more The box. I have to open another origami figure. Drag, it's gonna happen. I can feel it. I think there's two more trials left. Are you prepared to kill someone to save your son? Brad Silver. Kill him, send a picture, get your reward. All right, we can kill someone now. Well, Rosie, he can be a good man. Floating 
bodies don't mean anything. Yeah, the least favorite of the group. Manfred! Manfred! Anybody home? Oh, there you are. Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? S Scott? This is Scott! Oh, yes, of course. Well, good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. Oh, at my age, time means nothing anymore. I... I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. <laughs> How about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's, uh, she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this, this calls for a celebration. I'm just a thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I, I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. Bottle of scotch? That's track talk. Do an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. Sure, no problem. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. Got all the ticking. Nice to see Manfred again. Well, to old friends. I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Yeah. Well, let's have a look. Now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter? Oh, sure, please? I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. Okay, ah, Jesus. Thanks. Well, let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. The Royal Five. So, so far I'm a little over, I think a little over halfway done. The typical of that model. Produced between 1907 Maybe I can power through it tonight. If not, I'll be done by tomorrow. Yes. No doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. These typewriters, are they rare? 
No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or in their cellar. Clients? Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. At least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. You think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. Gosh, it looks so strange. The smile. Since Man Hello? Manfred! Hello? Your call is lost, sir. <gasps> the police call Holy shit. in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? Uh oh, uh oh. Oh my god. He's dead. Oh. has already called the police. I think he wants us to be his scapegoats. We gotta get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 okay. hours well, the police station. I guess it's Ethan. Confirm. Thing. Well, so what do we do? All right, Rising. Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. We better work fast. The police Brad? Be here no, 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 no. What are you doing, Lord? If someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. We got to get out of here fast. Okay, got to get rid of our evidence. Think back at what I touched. Let's see, I touched that. Um, the phone. Oh, the phone. Oh, shit. What else? Um, the other phone. The other front. Counter? Which counter? Scott, are you gonna be much longer? The police will be here any second. I'm almost finished. Calm down, lady. I'm trying to do the best I can. The oh, music box. That's it. We're done. No, 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 no. 
I'll just check one last time I haven't forgotten anything. About the books, about the books. Um, um, um. Um. Don't think there's anything in here. Oh, you're right, you're right. Shit, shit, shit. Here? No, there's nothing here. Fuck, let's run. Let's go. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? Doorknob. I'll just check one last time I haven't forgotten anything. Okay, I think I'm good. Let's just leave. You get all the prints? I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. Come on, let's go. Oh no. What else am I missing? I thought I got the counter already. So. You claim the victim was crap. while you were in his shop, correct? Yes, he went to get something in his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. That's when I found him. I'm pretty sure I got her print. The only thing I remember her touching was the music box. The was there anything else? Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. Listen, we had nothing to do with his murder. We were only there by coincidence. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay? Well, I didn't get in trouble, so that's good. Well, well, Scott Shelby. Trouble again? Blake. Wrong time, wrong place. You know what it's like. Don't sweat it. I'll take care of it. For old time's sake. Thanks, Carter. I owe oh, you. Oh, the friends. Are you on to anything at the moment? Well, I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond the idea stage. you tell me about it, wouldn't you, Scott? Sure. That's weird. Where are we going? I'm taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We're partners, remember? We had a deal. Not a game. This isn't a game, Lauren. Manfred was murdered because he knew the identity of the killer. He was ten feet away, for Christ's sake. No. I can't take a chance on the killer getting that close to you. I wonder if Shelby is also a crooked cop. I know what I have to do. I've got to find my son's killer. You're was a crooked cop. I don't know. You're gonna be a good girl. You're gonna go home and let me get on with my investigation. <sighs> Stop the fucking car. Oh. If you're not going to help me find the bastard who killed my Johnny, I'll do it on my own. This girl's stubborn as a mule. She doesn't let up, with or without me. It's all my fault. I should never have let her come with me. Ah, uh, 
Let's go talk to her. Laura. Crap, I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect her. You miss him. Miss him so much. I'd do anything to hold him once again in my arms. Caress, let's do it. Ah, oh, that's it. All right. So, this is what Trial number four? Time to kill this guy. He opens up, I shoot. I get the hell out of there and I don't look back. Shit, I can't. I can't. Yeah? What do you want? I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies at my door. Stupid thing, come on. You gotta score, man. You gotta fucking call first. Come what? On. Beat it. I fucked up. Shit. The guy's a dealer. A goddamn dope dealer. People die as a result of his actions. Sean's life is worth more than that. For what? I should get out of here. Yeah, yeah, in a second, in a second. Hey. Take it easy, man. Huh? Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need. Sure we can make a deal, huh? <gasps> Shit! <gasps> Fuck! Run! Run! Run, you idiot! <laughs> Hold it, man. I give you whatever you want. Got dope? I got cash? You you want some dope? Please. Please don't kill me, man. Don't kill you. You try you try to shoot me. He's my girl, see. This one's Sarah. Oh no. And a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. I don't say anything. If you remember, don't say anything. Please. Please don't shoot. <laughs> I'm not a murderer. I have no right to take this guy's. I'm a father, too. Well, but I have no choice. <laughs>
well then. And the gun grip. What? Are you kidding me? I should inspect the gun. He's almost dead. Maybe he paid someone to send him these messages. Hmm. Three point four inches of rain so far. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt. Be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. Never go alone in a stranger's house, especially if he looks like that. Hi, uh, I was told that the person that wears what was this Hawaiian that flower pattern shirt. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Hold on. I I I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please come in. Or maybe the whole theory is false. Could be something else. So, you're looking for Betropriton, my dear. Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. No. No, thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. I don't want to drink. Get your hands off me. I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? That's nice, Lilac. Uh, evade. Change subject. It's a tight neighborhood. People talk. Q. 
Can you get other types of medicine? Everything has a price, my dear. What about you? Do you have a price? Forget it. I'm not for sale. Hey. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. Why would you mention that when you're alone? You're not drinking? I'm not gonna drink. Hell no. I am... Um... Um, I'm, I'm not really thirsty. I'll get your prescription. Won't be a moment. Wait here. Dude, let's get the fuck out of here. Gives me the creeps. I better take a look around to see if I can find or anything that. before he gets back. Quick. I gotta find something. Maybe a quick look behind those doors. I'll make up some lies if he finds me. Don't make a sound. He's near. Shit. There goes my stealth. Blue Lagoon. Surgical gowns. I thought he stopped performing operations. Okay, this isn't good. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Nostalgia for the past. Claimed he had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. Hey, surgeon. So, you're interested in my Marble Street apartment. I read it to my friend Paco, if you must know. Shaking up, shaking I have no idea what he does there. Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> To be honest, I don't give a damn, because as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. But enough with the chit-chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. I don't have any instruments here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Is there anything I can do? Come on. Oh, no. This is like Outlast shit. <laughs> Fuck! Dude, what the? Have you ever noticed? As soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling. I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Don't move. 
I want his law. Thank you guys, save me. Some Bibles, which I will gladly leave with you in return for a contribution of only five dollars. No thanks, I love it. Come now, brother. I cannot believe the word of the Lord is of no interest to you. We, as humble flocks, should walk in Yeah, yeah, I'm sure my knee is fine. Thanks a lot, but I don't need it. Scripture will bring you peace and tranquility anytime you need it. All for me, five dollars. What the fuck? <laughs> fuck you! No, 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 no. <sighs> All because of yoga. Really? Is that what happened? I don't remember that. Mad Jack is suspected of Yeah, I guess it wouldn't matter anyway, Rosie. Might be worth asking him a few questions. 24 hours. I've got less than 24 hours if I want to find Sean Mars still alive. Hey, Cracker! What you doing in oh, there? Oh, man. Scary looking dude. Nam and Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? 
Yeah? I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, whether you right, stole Rosie. it or not. I just want to know who bought it from me. Sorry, ma'am. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for names. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. Jackie boy? You trying to scare me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. Oh boy, CSI time. First clue. Blood. Now why is there blood here? More blood. Fingerprints. Probably Mad Jacks. Size 10. Most likely a visitor. But he said it was blood. Oh. Uh, let me go back Same and check it out then. Tire is the car I'm looking for. Is the killer's car being here? Oh, I can't press anything on it. the car I'm looking for. Ari comment. Traces of orchid pollen in the air inside the garage. Same pollen in the crime scene. God dang it, I got uh, Let me get out of here, please. Few traces of blue paint, same tire tracks, no doubt about it. Killer's car was here. <sighs> Feeling sick, got the sweats. Hands are shaking. Hope this works out all right.
Okay, so he's helping to kill her. I don't trust this guy. Not much help, this so-called Mad Jack. He's either clean as a whistle, or else he's got something to hide. Size 13. Must be Mad Jack size. Tuba trip to Kane. Got it in my pocket. Merry Christmas. All right, let's go talk to him. Hey, or not? You got me, officer. I'll come clean. Now that car, she buff up real good. I painted her dangerous blue, in honor of the dangerous motherfucker that was driving her. Hands on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. How could I have fallen for it so easily? Idiot. Let's do it! <gasps> In my balls. In my glasses! about the man with the blue car go fuck yourself in the ass um can't do that damn you out of your motherfucking mind man oh shit jack ain't nothing to it just a little bit of self-defense page one of the police manual kill or be killed whoa 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 uh, stop enough i'm starting to remember some things you you be cool uh, i'll tell you the tale no, i don't know nothing <laughs> about this guy he wanted me to get rid of his dirty car, get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash, and I ain't the questioning kind. Said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Now that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion closer. down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything... Uh oh. Shit, not now. Stupid drugs. Anything you say, Cannon will be. Hey, <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. Nope, no problem. <laughs> Crap! <laughs> what? They letting you dope heads in the FBI now? God bless America. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a little help with your. I don't like these holding down button sequence. Oh, oh, permanently. Holy shit. Oh, crap, 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 crap. <laughs> Gun! Oh. <laughs> What are the chances to have a gun in the glove compartment? <gasps> Fuck! Oh, 
Get out of there. Guy strong. guy this guy's taking like cheap shots at me kicking me in a dick Three point six inches. Hey, Rosie, welcome back. You miss me beating up a guy and him getting squished like a pancake. So you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means. Not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. I guess a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Yeah, uh, what a freeloader. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. Am I finishing this tonight? Probably not. I think I'll finish this tomorrow instead. Uh, probably stream for like 20 more minutes or something. We'll see. At this point, I think I'm 75% um, complete.
<laughs> Mole Masher, please. Let's go see her in the shower. After I'm done putting these eggs. Never mind, I can't get out. Oh, okay, let's go. Let's check. No, I can't go in there, fortunately. Damn it. Alright, good night, Drac. Thanks for stopping by. Not scramble. Oh. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this. About 30 clients bought spare parts for Royal Machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Well, well, maybe he has a... Except that if we cross-check... A regular the size bathrobe? And... The list of subscribers to Origami Magazine. Thinks he can still squeeze that, it in? Right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Lauren, wait! The eggs, fool. Can I eat it? Nope. If the killer really used a royal typewriter and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren, uh, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. His name is here somewhere. Help me, we're gonna find him. This is it. The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you gonna do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. Commander Shepard. You never give up, do you? <laughs> this girl knows her mind all right. No point in trying to reason with her. I should be investigating Gordy Kramer right about now. And here I am, standing in a cemetery, pouring rain, looking for the grave of a kid who's been dead for 30 years. Wait, I gotta actually look the name? Oh, jeez. This will take a while. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a young boy who died about 30 years ago. His name was John Shepard. You wouldn't know where it is by any chance. The children's graves are in the next plot. Thanks.
Yeah, way ahead of you. Jeez. Can I just yell at the name? It'll just pop up. Hey Scott, where are you going? John Shepherd's grave must be somewhere around here. Did anyone ever tell you you shouldn't shout in the cemetery? Take it easy, the dead don't mind. <sighs> Alright, so it's somewhere over here. Dude, I hope she finds it, because this is ridiculous. I can't control with this camera angle. Alright, good night, Drac. Oh, thank god. Seven to nineteen seventy seven. Origami figures. No drag. Good night. You said you're going to bed. These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77. Dude, that will be really awful, Rising. You sure about that, Drac? You sure about that? Good for nothing, hoodlums! Get the hell out of here! God! Beat it! You lousy, no good brats! Come back when your fucking mother comes home from work. He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. <laughs> <laughs> well, this won't get beat. Little rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Bet you can't catch me! Gabe can't do anything. Can't even make Half-Life 3. Being out in the rain is nothing compared to being in when he's like that. Mom won't be back from work till later. She wouldn't let him treat us like this. I think after this scenario ends, uh, I'm gonna stop for tonight. Oh god, don't remind me that scene uh, rising. Was it the one uh, part in Fahrenheit where you gotta stuff your way around? <laughs> Move your ass! I'm waiting. That was barely nothing, kid. <laughs> you dumbass. 
bitch can't do that. Move your ass. I'm waiting. <laughs> oh. Wow, what a I gotta kick this boy's ass. Jeez, you're in nothing but a slow poke. You're very rude. Come on, loser. Jordan's going too fast. What you never you doing? for me. I'll definitely do that. You know, the one thing I can't complain about this sequence is I can actually run. Die hard? You don't need to do this if it's too hard for you. No chance, I can do it all right. Just you watch. Whoops! Oh, I didn't fall. Come on, it's your turn. Drag is still here, and why do you think I like to do dragon fists? Imagine if his face land right in the cement. It's time the jump of That wasn't so bad. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. Dragon Ball. You go and count to twenty and try to find me, okay? 
One, two, three. Just show me how you die. Four, <laughs> 17 20 I did not cheat Tiny. My foot. My foot is stuck. Grandpa, I'll put it over there. It's not going to work. did find any help and his brother drowned in that park full of rainwater the boy that lived what happened to him well all i know is he got separated from his parents that happens rising i, I think he got it i will wear a scuba gear well looks like a storm's coming i guess i better be getting home Christ, what a horrible story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... he could be the origami killer? Come on, let's get back in the car. Come on, Shelby. The kid died 30 years ago. Who's still tending the grave after all these years? <laughs> there she goes again. Surprising me. I don't usually like... Wait. What's the matter? That man over there. Yeah? Is that Kramer? It's Charles Kramer. Gordy's father? What's he doing here? Putting flowers on John Shepard's grave. Wait, there was an origami there. Shit. Oh well, as promised, this I'll be done for tonight. This is it. Oh man, good stretch. Ugh. Maybe she never had any kids and fabricated the whole story. Well, let's wait until this loads in and then I'll stop. Four point two inches. Oh, 
Oh. Let's see where this is. is. He's the guy who rented the doc's apartment on Marble Street. I better be careful. He might be the killer. <laughs> in this, in that case, I'll uh, save this for tomorrow. Um, let's pause this first. So tomorrow, I might start a little bit early, maybe like um, an hour earlier or two, ten central, eleven central. We'll see what happens. I would normally post a Twitter, a tweet about it one hour beforehand that I'll be streaming. So check that out. And for that, thank you for everyone for stopping by and watch the stream. Uh, have a good night.